San Bernardino. We see one guy down. There's one guy in the back of a car. Tense moments played out live on national TV as SWAT teams corner the killers. Is the getaway car booby trapped? They don't know if there's explosives. Security expert Wally Zines analyzed the police tactics for Inside Edition. The two vehicles that are coming in to box in the car that was used in the crime is called a Bearcat. They're trucks that are heavily armored plated. Also, the tires are total rubber, so if they were shot out, they wouldn't collapse. Front and center as the drama unfolded is a new anti-terror weapon called the Rook. It's an armored vehicle that allows cops to approach the SUV while minimizing the risks. Here's a closer look at the Rook in a training video in obtained by Inside Edition. It can be used as a battering ram and even tear buildings apart. Place an assault team on a roof to launch a hostage rescue or punch a hole in a wall and insert gas. The Rook is a chess piece. When it shows up, checkmate. Sean Mitchell really sold the Rook to San Bernardino police just a few months ago. It can actually drive inside a house or tear a house down or go inside a mall. It can go inside schools and run the hallways, climb stairs. It just is so versatile um, where it can go where just about anything else can't go. It can go where you can't even walk. You can see police on the Rook using a metal pole to probe the SUV. It's going in the car right now. So what do you think they're doing right there? They're checking the body. They're also checking some of the weapons that might be inside. Cops also turned to high-tech devices when they raided the killer's home. A battering ram with a camera smashed through a window and a robot equipped with night vision cameras and other sensitive equipment entered the house first. It has a TV camera that can come in, come out. It has claws that can be used if there is an explosive, it can check. It also has a shotgun. Amazing new weapons in the fight against terror.